guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Roxy here again sorry guys for keeping you waiting for another DIY but today's DIY guys it's so interesting so these are the requirements that I'll be using for my DIY I'll be making a chandelier using this 6mm MDF food that had been cut into size and also some holes made on it in which I'll be fixing in the lighting so the measurements of the boards and also the MDF food I'll link them in the description box I'll be using this mirror reflective paper for this project to cover up the MDF food I got my inspiration from the above chandeliers so I had to make the above chandelier using readily available materials which I got from my local shop if you're interested keep on watching I started by making lines which are 2 inches apart as you can see after making the lines ended up making some squares so these squares will direct me in where to place the beads for this project and then I went ahead and arranged the woods which I'll be using for this project and then stapled them down using my stapler so as to make it easier to hold them together with the screws Once I was done, I went ahead and fixed the screws into the pivot holes that I had made. So this is the design that I decided for my chandelier. The 6mm MDF food will sit down while the wood that I made will sit on top of the 6mm MDF food. To hold it well on the MDF, I went ahead and applied wood glue and then I screwed them together. Once I was done applying the white glue, which is the wood glue also, I fixed the wood on the middle part of the plain MDF so as to make sure it's the center part of the MDF. Then I went ahead and added screws to secure it in place. For the holes which will be holding the bits for the chandelier, I'll use this small drill bit to drill down some small holes on where the two lines are meeting so I'll drill down the holes all around my chandelier for the bottom part of the chandelier I had to cover it using this mirror reflective paper but first I had to stick the mirror reflective paper on the poster board so that I can stick the poster board on top of the wood Once I was done, I applied wood glue on top of the wood so as to fix the poster board, but it was a bad idea. Kindly, if you have a paper, paper glue, you can use paper glue for the project instead, or maybe some little hot glue. Because if you use a lot of amount of hot glue, it will burn the reflective paper. On my side, I ended up using paper glue on this project so that the poster board will stick well on the wood. Then I went ahead to make some holes and also I had to cut the round holes so as to give some space where I'll fix the light. I had to use this big needle to make the holes so as to make it easier to put in the threads which will carry the beads. As for the beads, I used some beads which I got from an old curtain shear which I got from a thrift shop. So I had to take off the beads, there were so many from the cutting and I had to use them for the project. So the only beads which I was using was the clear beads and also some other beads which I got from the shop. I'll put the contact where you can get these chandelier beads if you're interested in some. So I had to use 
four different types of beads in this project and I'll be showing you how I fix them but you can fix them in the pattern you want or also in the height that you want. For this project I used the thin fishing line to fix in the beads since it was easier to use it and like the thick fishing line. For those who are clicking this channel for the first time, thank you so much guys for clicking this video. Kindly remember to subscribe and also click on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a new video. For those who are coming back, thank you so much guys for your support. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much. This is the pattern that I used for my project, as you can see, but it will depend with the pattern that you'd like to use for your chandelier. For this project, I ended up making 225 beads, which will cover the whole of my chandelier. And this is how the beads were fixed on the chandelier. So I had to make the opening more wider so as to fix the fishing thread. I had to put fishing thread one at a time on the holes and once it was done I would overturn the chandelier and then glue down this, the threads using some hot glue so I had to secure the thread using hot glue so that they don't fall off. After fixing few lines, I will overturn the chandelier and glue down the string so as to secure the beads in place. I had to do this over and over again until the beads were well secured on the wood. So this is a close look of how I secure the fishing line. Some I had to tie some knots to make them hold on well and then added some hot glue on top of it and left it to dry. Actually this was the fun part of the project, fixing in the beads on the chandelier and gluing them down. It was really fun. It's time consuming making the beads but since the kids are at home I had to give them work to help me arranging the beads in the fishing line so it was fun and also you can do it while watching Netflix or maybe watching your favorite movie and you'll really love the results once you make the chandelier. As for the side, I covered them using this mirror reflective paper that I had cut. So I'll be fixing them on the side of the chandelier to cover the wood. I had to use hot glue on this part, but kindly use glue paper if you're, patient. If you're not patient like me, you can use hot glue, but just use a little amount of hot glue because if you use a lot of hot glue, it will burn the reflective paper. My reflective papers were fixed in the poster board so as to give a smooth finish. Since fixing the reflective paper direct on the wood, it won't give you a smooth finish and also the glue won't hold well on the wood. So I had to use poster board for this part.
I then went ahead to cover the bottom part of the chandelier using some sunflower mesh I had at home. I had used this from a previous project. As you can see, they are cut short. So I had to glue them down all round to cover the wood. Once I was done covering the chandelier all around, I went ahead and added the spotlights, which are LED lights, which are white and also 1 watt. I got them from a local electrical shop, so I had to add them on this opening. At the beginning of my video, as I had shown you the wood, the hole were cut to the equal size as the diameter of this spotlighting. So I had to fix the spotlighting one at a time, and the clips were to hold the spotlight in place underneath the wood. I then overturned the chandelier and connected all the wires together so as to make a one connection which will be fixed on the ceiling. The chandelier was hanged using a wood which was fixed in the middle of the chandelier. As you can see there is a small wood in the middle of the chandelier that which was used to mount on the chandelier on the ceiling. Since drilling it on the ceiling was an issue I had just to hang it using some hooks and also the wood which supported the chandelier as you can see guys this is the final look of my beautiful chandelier let me know in the comment section what you think about this easy and inexpensive chandelier that I had just made I just love how it has given my living room a beautiful and elegant look you can't even say it's a handmade chandelier guys I just love how it just turned out and it's so pretty on the ceiling for those who are interested in making one and are interested in buying the materials, I'll put in the contacts in my description box. For those who haven't subscribed guys, please remember to subscribe and also click on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a new video. Bye bye, see you next time for a new DIY.